Hey guys and welcome to my channel Modern Ukrainian Homestead Well, right now it's 10... 10.20 a.m. And we are generating some solar power from five panels in series 435 watts each uh, And obviously the output is not that big because we have clouds today But let me just explain you how this thing works because this is the video about the system based on the ASON that you can build, it's a very simple and cheap one. Uh, I've calculated already, I've already did all the all the methods and calculations, so theoretically you can get the system up and running with uh, 2 kilowatt of solar for roughly 1700 uh, US dollars. Or if you want more panels, like just add them approximately, because like we have not the best prices here in Ukraine and probably somewhere in Europe you have much better prices for solar, but that's different. So let me just like quickly explain it. It's very easy. Uh, solar cable gets into this combiner box. I will give you the link to it because it has everything built in, all the all the protections and all the security is already uh, installed for you for $37, $37 you can get this and you'd like you don't have to worry about anything additionally. Then plus and minus goes to the battery. No, I'm sorry, not to the battery, to the solar input and then from the inverter it goes I have just like this temporary switch because I had to use it before I'm switched to lithi lithium ferrum phosphate uh, which will be done later this year in December I hope but currently this one goes inside 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 my gel battery packs which you can get locally of course with the equalizer and currently it's the same system that is uh, that, that has uh, my wind turbines on it Currently, it's the bigger one, the 3.2 meters in diameter, which outputs like this number at this exact moment. And then there is the smaller M3, the self-made. I'm waiting for better controllers, just like I need to wait a couple of weeks before they arrive, so I will change them. I just had to split and, re and rearrange this all a bit, because uh, right now I need two of those big guys who do the following they drain the power out of these batteries and out of what whatever comes uh, in from production from the wind turbines and from solar and it drains it out and transfers it because these are grid tie inverters and transfers them to my uh, bigger hybrid inverter which is day at 10 kilowatts uh, and it then they are uh, like uses this energy of, for everything in the house but let's get back here um, I will show you the panels, how actually exactly they are mounted. At this exact moment, I don't have any AC in or out connected, just the ground. And this is my AC box for the garage. But uh, what eventually I'm thinking of, I just, just no chance to actually do this, is I will take the AC input into here and the AC out again into here. So this garage thing, everything that is, that is inside will be also powered fully by this guy. Uh, and that's my goal actually to reduce a little bit of load uh, coming into um, coming into yeah I will probably even not even connect the AC in and maybe I will never even switch it off because well uh, I will make the garage fully autonomous why not but to do this like that will be definitely not good enough not not good enough for for these battery packs because it cannot run uh, a lot of power because like well i mean they're relatively small 100 amps and powers each i mean the whole battery pack is also 100 amp hours for 48 volt but uh, still i mean that's not a big capacity right so once i'm having here in this place down below once i have them a better battery which is lithium i will do this uh one more thing i wanted to show you it relates to the previous video about the m M M mc4 connectors is uh, like those connectors like those connectors for example is the crimping tool it finally arrived and it is so much better than i than the one that i used before in the video that i shown to you like oh it's actually here so we can compare so there you go this is the one that I had look how thin the matrix is 
It definitely, I mean, it has the, the, the proper, even, even the proper, uh, the proper, how do you call this, the proper mat matrix, right? But, I mean, it's too thin and it's not really good. Look how big this one is. Now that's a difference. That's a difference absolutely and totally. And, I mean, it crimps as it should. I will give you the short uh, video here so you'll be able to see and take a look. That's that's a nice thing. Uh, I will also give you a link to this because well, uh, ten bucks, ten bucks for connectors, twenty, twenty for everything, or you can get this the, this tool separately. I mean, it's very useful and very handy. It's nice to have the proper proper tool once you're working with your solar setup. Um, a little bit of things to explain on this inverter is is actually about the settings. What I've been facing here is that the manual that came with this inverter is not the latest one. I mean, specifically here, you can see this is the nine, uh, item 9 and item 11. Where is the item 10 in the settings? And once I get into here, in the settings, for example, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and there you have 10, and then 11. So, probably I have been telling you that this communication port is meant to work only with Wi-Fi communication model. Well, that is not true. And I'm fixing my mistake. Well, actually, it's not a mistake. It's my non-knowledgeability non enough at that point. But that 10 item has two options. One is PYL and one is PAC. PYL means for pylon tech lithium protocol and PEC means for PACE BMS lithium protocol. And this thing can be used for the BMS entrance of your lithium battery pack. And that's something I not expected from this inverter to actually have, but it does. Uh, I cannot prove it right now uh, because, well, I, I don't have any free uh, lithium battery packs. I will have some in late November, early December, somewhere around. So once I will be mounting here, down here, right now where there are some residuals from the construction currently, once I will mount in the lithium battery pack here, we will do this. We will definitely do this and I will check how this actual thing works and we will see if it performs as it should. So let me go outside and show you a little bit of uh, how the panels are mounted and how everything is set on there. Sorry guys for the wind, we have we have quite a nice amount of wind today. A lot of clouds and you see sun right now is hidden somewhere. That is why it's not producing that much. I mean, I have a lot of solar already, as you may already know, over there and over there. But I mean, this thing was actually interesting to do a small DIY project because like this one was contractor based because it has to be done really quickly. I mean, that whole lot of panels was installed in nine days. Five people were working on it uh, one and a half years ago. But this one was completely the do-it-yourself project. It's a small one, tiny one. And I mean, many of you will tell me, yeah, the distance is not that good enough. I mean, I had no other place to do this because I mean the rails the wooden rails that go underneath this kind of temporary shed uh, they are located exactly there and one in the middle so where they had to put them I just like pick the best out of the old rails that I have in, uh, the, down there and just like use the one that I have so like I mean I had no choice and specifically giving you the context of the distance if you will check the distance that is here and if you will compare actually measure the distance over here this one is not that much bigger this one is probably like like this wider only so I mean this is not a big deal it's not a huge trouble but eventually yes you have to use like 20 20 25 percent of this of the solar panel size and again 20 25 percent of the solar panel size so that's where the rail ideally should be mounted that's true that's that's uh, that's how it should be done one thing to show you how to actually align the panels it's very easy just like use this as a guideline uh, in my case I just like used this line <laughs> you can use that one or the, or the one that you like that you will have to use like it doesn't matter just align with the one and then you'll be sure they are uh, mounted proper, proper, 
perfectly. So um, the only thing I'm also missing here right now, cable is not is not properly secured. That's because uh, I figured out that I can put a little bit more panels here. So here on this place, I will have three more added. So after that is done, I will actually wrap the, the cable in the cover and actually secure it for the uh, for the all being, for the all time being, that as long as this shed will st will st will be standing, the temporary one, as I as I told you. So it's very easy. It's very it's very simple thing to do. All do it yourself. Uh, in this specific case, I did not use aluminum rails. Uh, I just used the uh, Sinclair rails uh, with the aluminium uh, connectors uh, as, as, as they should be. And about the panels themselves, these are Longi 435 watts. I will give you the exact name in the description so you'll be able to see and to find them in the, you know, on, on your market if you want them. I just like this manufacturer, like, I mean, everything here, 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 that's Longi. This one is only Ryzen. Um, because, like, I mean, those sizes, they, they were available at that time and, and they fit perfectly for, for, one, for one array, so no issue with that. You can use only one type of panels on your one MPPT tracker, on your one array. Uh, that's normal. If you want to use different panels, because there I have a little bit different. These are 545 watts and these are 565, but each of the panels has got an optimizer under them, uh, and that's a different story. At that, in that case, you can use different size panels, but eventually, if you just like use a simple, very simple, small array, you cannot do this. You just put them in series and use. They have to be all equal. Like that's uh, how it how how it actually works. Uh, what else? Uh, what else? What else? What else? Well, nothing. Um, this wind turbine goes the best. I mean, for yesterday, for example, once we have like the, the, it, it was everything was in clouds. And this array of panels produced only about one kilowatt of power. It's 2.17 uh, kilowatts of array. But this two kilowatt wind turbine out produced it four times. Four times. Like, that's the difference. So only if you are building something for complete off-grid, consider always this and this. But, I mean, this is also a nice thing to, to have and it works absolutely nicely and perfectly. Okay, uh, well, let me know in the comments if you want to, me to show you something else additionally. And, well, see you later.